It is just a beautiful day here in Western North Carolina and it's been about probably two weeks since I've given you guys an update on this little garden. So I want to walk through here and show you guys what's growing. So first here are the hollyhocks and it's just a beautiful pink color. I also have some of the burgundy ones coming out right over here and one thing I learned was this morning everything was beautiful and then I walked out and one of my burgundy stalks here of the hollyhocks have just uh, bent over and letting me know it clearly needed staking. I don't think that, that it will make it so this was the one here and so I just put um, some poles in here and I tied them up with some string just to give them a little bit more support because they're getting very top heavy with all of the blooms but they are absolutely beautiful and I am loving them all right so here in the square foot garden I'm not really using a lot of the planting methods I'm sticking bean seeds in here uh, just randomly throughout the garden um, normally you would plant those nine per square foot, the bush beans, but I'm just sticking them in wherever there's an extra space. I have a couple of tomato plants which have reseeded from last year. These are volunteers. I'm pretty sure that would be the Matt's Wild Cherry, and those come up for me every year. So I'll just see how they do. I might have to thin it out a little bit over here because I have two volunteers pretty close to each other here, and you want to do those one per square foot. I have some scallions in there doing great. And then the cilantro is starting to bolt on me. I have some beautiful dill. Just love dill. Made some shrimp um, salad with it today. Have some chives. And then the beets are really taking off now since my last video. The fennel looks beautiful. And beets again. Another beet. And then I've been tying up the tomato plants against the chain link fence. Those are doing very well. And more beets. And I planted some golden beets here. I put some seeds out. And of course, I don't live here to water them regularly. So I've been depending on rainwater to bring them up. And it does not look like a lot of them have germinated. So I might plant something else there. And then more cilantro. And then here are the beautiful peanuts. Look how nice they are. Just love some peanuts. They are so wonderful. We went on vacation recently to Jekyll Island. And um, on the way back... I picked up some uh, green peanuts so that was in South Georgia and so I boiled those up and made some wonderful boiled peanuts over the weekend just love them so much looks like something has pecked here and pulled up a couple of the plants I don't know what that would be probably some birds we have a lot of birds around here and of course marigolds carrots amaranth is coming up this lettuce is absolutely beautiful i might need to take that home with me okay because i bet if i come back it will uh, be bolting <laughs> thyme and chives the scallions are beautiful and then here looks like the cherokee purple is bushing out nicely i have some tomatoes on there you can see those right back in there and then more beets and of course bush beans all along here where I just pop the seed right there in the soil and then more peanuts right back there dill celery is looking great along with the sweet William and then tarragon is looking good I also put that in my shrimp salad and uh, the thyme is starting to flower and then the parsley is also bolting and I'm just going to let that go to seed okay back here are all of the herbs that I planted uh, transplanted actually from three gallon containers so I have rosemary arp rosemary and some thyme and tarragon plus a couple of sweet potato plants I stuck right over here and then this is the Cherokee purple planted in the ground right there of course if you watched my last video on this garden you know I put some horseradish back here well as you can see it's a very resilient plant it has rooted down has new growth on it and all of the other leaves are dying off there on the side I also transplanted out some apple mint so it's looking really really nice 
I like to have, I know these three um, herbs here are planted very close together. I can always, of course, dig them up, divide them, and put them in other places if it starts to get too crowded. But I wanted to make sure to put them somewhere. I want to try to put something back here that's, you know, pretty and edible. Because it always is just covered up with weeds back here. So there you have it. There is the little square foot garden at the river. And I hope you guys are having fun out there digging in the dirt. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a beautiful day.